Ahoy guys and welcome back once again to I Like Watches. San Martin have just launched a new GMT diver, the SN0119 I believe, available in three different colorways, available on a stainless steel bracelet or it's a little bit cheaper on one of these sort of color matching. I think this is an FKM strap, they have sent me the strap to show you with this watch, but I believe it has been supplied with a stainless steel bracelet. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna run through all the basic specifications and share with you my first impressions. And there it is, look, right, let me get the plastic off. I'll be back in a mo. Right, there we go. I have removed all the plastic. I'm giving it a good wipe because it looks like the case is fully polished. Yeah, I think it is actually. Um, yeah, I've put some power into the automatic NH34. It is a GMT diver. I've put the hands to a decent position so we can see everything we need to see on the dial and I have um, yeah, straightened up the diver's bezel and yeah, they have sent me the avocado color variation. There's two others to choose from. Um, all three colors are available on this bracelet or with a sort of color matching strap, which I've already shown you. I'll show you the watch on all three straps. I'll also show you the loom degrading at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, I'm sure it will be pretty decent. The specifications, as we've come to expect from San Martin, along with the build quality, very, very good. So um, yeah, I won't run through every single specification in this video. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me, oldmantimegary at gmail.com. Um, but yeah, anything I forget to say, I'll put up on the screen. So it is a 200 meter GMT diver. I'm not a massive fan of GMT divers, but I have to say um, some look better than others. And it does just look like a dive watch, doesn't it? But um, it has the functionality um, that comes with the Seiko NH34. And I think the first thing I want to show you is actually the on the fly adjustment system with this clasp. I think it's the first time I've seen this. I have seen a very similar, if not identical, bracelet on another San Martin watch. It's a sort of Milanese bracelet with these screw pins you've got removable sections so you can adjust the size of it pretty easily um, but this one has got a rather flat and sort of well compressed a very sort of small on the fly adjustment system um, yeah you just well you don't need to press the button to push it in i think there's seven or eight options one two three four five six seven oh, hang on let me check that again one two three four five six seven seven so sort of seven eight positions on that um yeah you just press the button and pull it out and um yeah that's pretty cool and there's not too much distance between those options either so you're going to get a very fine adjustment with this bracelet but the thing that i think is most impressive is just how they've managed to fit it into quite a discreet clasp which i have to be mindful of because i keep saying it i i'm left-handed i wear my watches on my left wrist i write of course with my left hand so i have to be a little bit mindful of watches with chunky clasps so i tend to avoid them when they've got on the fly adjustment systems but yeah i'm impressed by that the case fully polished though i mean when they're trying to mix it up i think a little bit offer something a little bit different um yeah i mean it's nice and blingy isn't it it's quite reflective quite a sort of summery watch i think a sort of holiday watch in the northern hemisphere we are coming into the sort of summer season so i think it's a fantastic time to release a watch like this, um, I think the fully polished case might put a few people off, but it's definitely um, different, isn't it? They're offering something a little bit different with this one. So, yeah, so far I am impressed. I think I would have liked to have had proper fitted end links here, but if they're offering this watch for a little bit less money on a strap like this, I understand that can't be done um, because I think they did that with the other watch that I've seen um, with this bracelet. But it does work with this bracelet still, doesn't it? It is a good looking watch, a uh, dive watch, I've already mentioned, um, 120 click, unidirectional bezel, a ceramic bezel insert, color matching, um, action is very nice actually, um, very even resistance all the way around, lovely crisp clicks and my mind was just distracted then by the color matching date wheel look, um, I hadn't noticed that but the color match is pretty good with the dial isn't it, sort of fading dial, um, top to bottom, very nice. Very nice colour option, a bit of text on the dial, the applied logo, beautifully cut hands, a splash of colour on the chapter ring and the GMT hand look. Sapphire crystal, a double domed sapphire crystal with AR coating, so decent clarity at a tight angle there, look, no distortion at all. And yeah, looks a little bit of damage on it or a little bit of 
height to it, I should say. The crystal sits a little bit above the inside of that bezel, doesn't it? But not much at all. And um, yeah, decent specifications throughout, as you would expect. A screw down case back, screw down crown, double ended quick release spring guards. Nice, although you don't get those on the strap. Um, yeah, just standard um, strap. So just normal spring bars, which they actually sent me. I don't know why I took them out. Very nicely finished buckle look. Beautifully polished, so that matches the case. And um, yeah, the clasp on the bracelet has a mix of brushed and polished finishing, actually. You've got some polished chamfered edges there, look. I really am impressed with this clasp, I have to say. Let's check out the hand alignment, actually. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yep, happy with that. They've listed this one as a 41 millimeter diameter case. I'll put the dimensions that I get on the screen. I'm not too much weight in this watch as well, which I think is mainly down to the construction of the bracelet. Although the case isn't a particularly big and chunky case. And H34, not particularly heavy movements either, is it? So, um, yeah, a fairly thin, light bracelet and the clasp, like I've said already, um, quite compressed, quite small, uh, milled still. So decent weight distribution all the way around your wrist, but actually a lighter clasp than they've been using, I think, recently. So, um, yeah, a very comfortable, lightweight GMT diver um, and it's going to fit smaller wrists, slightly larger than average wrists, um, down to the fact that there's no end links and there's plenty of removable links as well. So a nice new addition to their lineup, I think. And um, I think they've probably sent me the best colorway. Um, let me know what you think, guys, in the comments section. And as always, any questions, let me know. Oldmantimegary at gmail.com. Please, guys, subscribe as well. Hit that like button, the bell notifications icon, so you don't miss out on future uploads. And as always, a massive thank you from me to you for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Of course I do.